Eric Adams is the mayor of New York City. He's asking the Biden team for $1 billion to cover the cost of migrants bussed in from the border. He made the request in October when there were around 17,000 migrants in the city. Hold on. $1 billion for 17,000? You see where I'm going with this? The true cost of the open border is becoming obvious, and it is a cost to you, the taxpayer. 500,000 people have crossed the border since October. Do the math. If the cost of supporting 17,000 is a billion, the cost of supporting 500,000 is 29 billion. And the 4 million who've come since Biden took office, that's $235 billion. Now, we don't know if New York will get the money. The application is being reviewed. But if they do get it, why shouldn't every other city and state get a piece of the action too? Next week, Title 42 ends. That means Border Patrol cannot push illegals back to Mexico. And that means a new surge. Fox projects 14,000 a day. No plan has been announced for dealing with this. In fact, the administration is doing everything it can to welcome them. HHS chief Javier Becerra, he will allow Washington state to provide subsidized health insurance for illegals. Did you see this? Biden wants to halt the shipping container wall that Arizona is building to keep migrants out. The containers trespass on federal land and must be removed. They're doing everything they can to prevent border law enforcement. And Biden's getting away with it. The media's not reporting the border crisis, and the Democrats suffered virtually no political damage from it in the midterms. But when the new surge arrives and the bills come due, surely, surely that's going to change. Second hour of Varney just getting started.